Welcome. We're going to practice yoga for the whole body, but really honing in on the hips today. The hips carry a lot of stress, tension in a lot of our bodies. They're also a place where we tend to hold emotions. So as we move through this practice and we start to open up the tissues, the muscles of the hips, you might feel some of those emotions surface. I invite you to just stay present, aware of what you're experiencing on your mat today. My name's Kelly and I'm from Michigan. Hi, I'm Diane <laughs> and I'm from Georgia. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Fight Master, Master Yoga. Yoga. So we'll start off standing. We'll step up to the top of the mat and come into mountain pose. Feet together or apart. Lift all 10 of your toes, spread them wide apart. Then gently press each individual toe pad into the mat. And just notice if the weight of your body is shifting forward, shifting back, shifting to your right or left. Try to find a nice centered, neutral weight distribution in your feet. And place your hands at heart center, Thumbs gently against the sternum bone in Anjali Mudra. Relax your shoulders and close your eyes. Now just start to breathe here. A steady, even flow of breath in and out of your nose. And as you deepen your breath, take a moment to consider what brought you to your mat today. And from that, set a personal intention for your practice. And we have a group intention, as I mentioned, of opening the hips and just allowing any emotions that are buried there to surface with awareness. And take another deep breath here. Then from this position, walk your feet a little wider apart. Let your toes turn out. So depending on the tightness or openness of your hips, you might need to walk your feet wider or bring them narrower. With an inhalation, reach your arms out and up over your head. As you breathe out, bring your hands through heart center, lower down into malasana, just as low as you can get without lifting your heels. Inhale, come back up arms overhead. You might need to adjust your stance a little bit here and exhale, lower down. Now we're not very warm, so move slowly, move mindfully through this dynamic malasana movement. Let's start to become aware of how your hips, your low back are feeling today. Notice if there's any tightness, any contraction. Starting to become aware again of what you're experiencing here on your mat. Now we'll inhale one more time to come up. Exhale, sit as low as you're able to go. Now that we've moved through it a few times, you might be able to drop a little bit deeper. Hands at heart center. If you're able to, push your elbows against your inner knees to push your inner knees out to the side. We'll stay here another breath in. See that you're lifting your chest. And with this exhalation, hands down. Start to straighten out your legs. Heel toe your feet in so they're hips width distance or closer. Bend your knees, hold opposite elbows. And just gently sway your torso side to side. Deep breaths here. Let your head hang freely. And shift yourself back to center, hands down. 
With an inhalation, lift your chest away from your thighs. Try to make your spine as long as possible. With an exhale breath, bring your hands to the ground, step your right foot way back, set your knee down. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Hold here three extra breaths. And as you hold, think about pressing your sacrum forward. Draw up through the pit of your abdomen so that you can really stretch into the front of your right hip, your hip flexors, and specifically your iliopsoas. One more breath in. Exhale, set your hands down. Let's step that right foot forward to the top of the mat. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, release and fold. Press into your feet. Inhale, rise to stand. Circle your arms out and up. Exhale, lower hands back to heart center. Inhale, reach up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, take that little bend in your knees, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway, crown of head forward. As you exhale, take your left foot back, knee to floor. You can have the back toes curled if that helps to stabilize your knee. Arms overhead and again, hold. So we're pressing the sacrum forward. That's the part of the spine just above your tailbone. Draw up through your, the pit of your belly, your pubic bone, and actively lift out of the sides of your waist. Now next breath out, hands down. Step your left foot all the way forward. Inhale to that half lift position, and exhale, release and fold. Press into your feet, inhale, rise, reach through fingertips, and exhale, return to center. Inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Now last time we stepped the right foot back, this time we'll step the left foot to the back of the mat. Turn your heel down. And as you glance at your feet, see that your right heel intersects your left inner arch. If you were to draw a straight line back. Come up into warrior two. Open to the side, reach out through your arms and your fingers. With an inhalation, straighten out your right leg. Take your arms overhead. Exhale, re-bend your knee. Just as low as you can without bringing the knee past the ankle. Inhale to come up, and exhale, bend. Continue with this movement a couple more rounds. Make sure as you're bending that right knee, you're pushing it out toward the little toe side of your foot, not allowing the knee to cave inward. That's not only gonna keep your knee safe, but it's also gonna help you to open up that right inner thigh. Now hold this warrior two, take a deep breath in and out. With your next inhalation, reverse your warrior, reach your right hand to sky, exhale, right forearm to thigh, or right hand to floor inside of that foot. So more traditionally, we would bring the hand outside of the foot, but for our class purposes today, hand inside, bend that right knee a little deeper, and if your hand is on the floor, think about pushing that knee outward with your right arm. Now take your left arm, reach it forward. We have two more deep breaths here. Wrap your right outer hip under your body, push into the outside of that left heel. Next exhalation, take both hands inside of your right foot. Turn to face the side of your mat once again, and as you do so, rotate your toes out and your heels in. Hold your inhale. On your exhalation, bend your right knee just as deeply as you can. Shift yourself over to that right side. Inhale, come up to center. Exhale, take it over to your left side, bending into that left knee. 
Inhale back to center. We'll do that again. Exhale, bend your right knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, take it over to your left side. Inhale to center. Now walk your hands over to frame your right foot. Pivot into a low lunge. Hold your breath, push back through the center of your left heel. Then next breath out, step all the way forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up, reaching tall. Exhale, lower your hands. So similar on the second side. Inhale, stretch arms up. Exhale, hinge at your hips, fold. Breathe in, come up halfway. And this time, exhale, right foot back. Turn your heel down. Again, find that imaginary line from your left heel to the center of that right inner arch. Come up into warrior two. Deep breath here. Try to soften through your shoulders. Next inhalation, straight left leg, both arms overhead. Exhale, bend your knee, reach out through your fingertips. Inhale, slow and steady, come up. Exhale, bend, tracking that left knee over the ankle. Couple more times here. And see that you're pulling your abdomen back as you're breathing out. Engaging those deep abdominal muscles. Hold this warrior two. Make sure, again, that left knee is pointing forward, not collapsing inward. With an in-breath, reverse your warrior, reach up. Exhale, couple options, left forearm to thigh. Or if you would like to, slide that left hand inside of the foot. You can always come up to your fingertips or you can have a flat palm here. Bend your left knee a little more, push into the outside of that right heel and reach your right arm all the way forward. A couple more breaths. Variation of extended side angle pose. With your next breath out, both hands down inside of that left foot. Travel to the center of your mat. Turn your toes out, heels in. Inhale here. Exhale, bend your left knee, shift over to the left side. Inhale, come up center. Exhale, bend your right knee. Inhale, back to center. Now keep going a couple more times. And you might start to notice the hips begin to open a little bit. You might find though that your hips are still really tight and that's okay too. Every body is different. Everybody's practice is different. Now the next time you bend your left knee, shift over to that left side and hold here. So you might notice my heel, my left heel lifts. And that's okay if yours does as well. We're trying to drop that left heel toward the ground. Point the right toes toward the ceiling if possible. Deep breath into that right inner thigh. And then we'll shift back through center. Inhale here. Exhale, take it over to the other side. So as low as you can go. And maybe this side is different. For me, on this side, my right heel can come down to the ground. My right and left side are not symmetrical, and that's okay. Take another deep breath. Just paying attention to what you're feeling. And shift yourself back into center. Walk your hands over to frame your left foot. Come into that low lunge position. Drop your hips. Reach your chest forward, take an in-breath, and this time as you exhale, step back to downward facing dog. And just take a few deep breaths here. Press your thighs back, press your hips up and back. Really work on lengthening out your spine and your torso. 
And when ready, set your knees to the ground. Bring your legs forward in front of you. And we'll sit in a cross-legged position. Whichever shin bone is in front is totally fine. Where we're going here, we're gonna rock our babies. So we'll lean back, catch hold of one of your legs. Now you can be here, holding your foot and your knee, one part in each hand, or let's see if this works for me today. You can interlace your fingers and kind of wrap your arms around that leg. Now just gently rock yourself side to side, rocking that leg, loosening up the hip. One of my first yoga teachers taught me this. And she would say, okay, let's rock our babies now. And I can remember like 15 years ago, this hurt so bad. And now it only hurts a little bit. It's progress, not perfection. All right, let's release that leg, whatever one it was, and just change sides. So again, you can be holding the foot and the knee or a little bit deeper, you're wrapping your arm around that leg. And just gently rock. Breathe, notice how this side feels, maybe a little different than the first side. And after this breath, we'll release. Come back to that cross-legged position. <clears throat> and this time have your right shin bone in front. Have an empty triangular space between your calves and your thighs. Now, if you know you want to go deeper into your hips right off the bat, you can cross the right shin bone on top, but see that you're gently pressing that right knee down toward the foot. So stacked or just crossed, breathe in here. Exhale, lean forward, walk your hands forward and fold over your legs. Let's take about three deep breaths. Let go of the tension as you exhale. And if you notice any emotions coming up, just be present to what they feel like for you. And from this centered fold, we'll walk ourselves over to the left side, fold over the left leg, just for a breath. And then come through center and over to your right side, deep breath here. And then back into center and gradually lift yourself back up. So whatever is going on, stacked or crossed legs, we'll take the other side. So left shin bone in front or left shin bone stacked on top, gently pushing that left knee down toward the right foot. Take an inhalation here, lift your chest. Exhale, lean forward, fold over your legs. Just let your head be heavy, let your upper back round. Three deep breaths. Softening as you breathe out. After this breath cycle, walk over toward your left leg, folding here. And come through center and over toward that right leg. Deep breath. And make your way back into center. And gradually lift yourself back up. Good. Pause at the top. Just notice what you feel. Then adjust and come to lie down on your back. And as you release to your back body, we'll come into happy baby pose. So bringing the arms inside of the knees, reach for the outsides of your feet. If that doesn't work for you here, you can hold on to your shins instead. 
So just grabbing wherever you're able to hold. Gently pull your knees down toward your armpits. Relax the weight of your head and your low back toward the floor. And take three more breath cycles. Good, present to what is surfacing for you. And we'll let that go. Take any last adjustments that your body needs and then come to lie down in Shavasana. So just find a comfortable position. Shoulder blades away from ears. Let your toes turn out. Take another deep breath or two, and as you exhale, feel like a wave is just washing over your body, letting go of any tension that you're holding. And let your breath become relaxed and effortless. And simply remain here in this space for a moment. Effortless awareness. Our final quote today is from Marianne Williamson who said, Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate, our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? We come back to breath. Come back to your body. Just begin to gently move. Reach your arms overhead. Take a big stretch. And hug your knees to your chest. Roll to one side and press up. So coming to any comfortable seat of your choice, cross-legged or otherwise. Just sit up tall here, place your hands together, close your eyes. And one more time, just notice what you feel in your body, what you feel in your hips. And take your hands to your forehead center for clear and loving thoughts. Hands to heart center for clear and loving intentions. Hands to your mouth for clear and loving communication, sending this positive energy out to all beings everywhere. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today. I hope you feel a little bit more opened up, a little bit looser. Having a consistent daily practice is a wonderful thing to do. You'll start to feel a lot more mobility in your body, especially your hips, your low back your shoulders. I've put together a 90-day program I'm really excited about. If you'd like to join for the first three days for free, you can click in the link in the description of this video or there's a link in the pinned comments. And if you'd like to stay on YouTube, I think you might enjoy this video.